reliable 100% fiber internet kaya ang sarap maging tambahay with Red Fiber. Health Undersecretary Mario Rosario Vedhere is now the officer in charge of the health department while President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. has yet to appoint someone to head the agency. Press Secretary Trixie Cruz Angeles on Thursday, July 14 says Vedhere is designated as OIC instead of Secretary of Health because Malacanang is still deliberating who to put in the position. Vedhere's assignment comes amid mounting calls to fill up the cabinet post as the Philippines faces another surge of COVID-19 cases. In a statement, the DOH says it appreciates the president's confidence in one of its career executives. Meantime, Marcos nominates former Light Rail Transit Authority Chief Mel Robles as Philippine Charity Sweepstakes Office General Manager. President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. spent the most among all candidates for the 2022 elections based on Rappler's tally of statements of contributions and expenditures or sources of 62 aspirants for president, vice president, and senator. As earlier reported, Marcos's expenditures totaled over 623 million pesos, all of them through cash or in-kind contributions. He claims he did not use any of his personal money to mount his Malacanang bid. Based on partial copies of sources released to the media by the Comlec Wednesday, July 13, former Vice President Lenny Robredo is the second highest campaign spender, with expenditures amounting to 388 million pesos. Out of the seven presidential candidates who submitted their sources on time, former Senator Manny Pacquiao spent the most of his personal money for his campaign, amounting to 62 million pesos. Meanwhile, former DPWH chief and now Senator Mark Villar is the national candidate who spent the most from his personal funds, amounting to over 131 million pesos. The highest spender among the vice presidential bets is also the eventual winner of the race, Sara Duterte. She spent 216 million pesos for her campaign, followed by now former Senators Vicente Soto III, who spent 157 million pesos, and Francis Pangilinan, who spent 130 million pesos. Like Marcos, Duterte claims no personal money was spent to jumpstart her vice presidential aspirations. In her first order as the sitting Education Secretary, Vice President Sara Duterte issues a strong order mandating all schools in the country to return to face-to-face -face classes beginning November 2. Duterte says in an ambush interview on Thursday, July 14, students do not need to be vaccinated against COVID-19 upon their return to in-person learning. There should be no segregation and discrimination for the unvaccinated learners dahil hindi naman po mandatory ang vaccination program natin. At... Um, we, we don't see any problem with co-mingling sa loob ng mga eskwelahan dahil paglabas naman po nila sa eskwelahan ay nakaka-co-mingling po lahat ng vaccinated and unvaccinated natin sa mga bahay, sa mga malls, sa mga simbahan, sa public transportation. There is also no class size set for each classroom. Duterte says physical distancing will be implemented whenever possible but the government would build more classrooms to address overcrowded classrooms. Duterte says it is high time to resume in-person classes because the COVID-19 vaccine is already widely available. NASA on Tuesday, July 12, draws back the curtain on billions of years of cosmic evolution with the inaugural batch of photos from the largest, most powerful observatory ever launched to space. The James Webb Space Telescope brings the first full-color high-resolution pictures designed to peer farther than before with greater clarity to the dawn of the universe. NASA hails this as a milestone marking a new era of astronomical exploration. The $9 billion infrared telescope was launched on December 25, 2021 after nearly two decades in the making. It reached its destination in solar orbit nearly 1 million miles from Earth a month later. U.S. President Biden previews the crowning debut image on Monday, July 11, before NASA's official unveiling of the rest of the collection on Tuesday. Sara Geronimo is set to make her highly anticipated return to ASAP Natin To soon. The weekend variety show makes the announcement on Wednesday, July 13, sharing a 15-second teaser of Sara captioned, The long wait is over. It remains unclear when Sara will return to ASAP Natin To. Sara has been a mainstay of the Weekend Variety program since 2004, with the November 2020 episode being her last performance on the ASAP Natin To stage. Meantime, Paolo Balesteros is hailed as the main host of the much-anticipated Drag Race Philippines. Discovery Plus Philippines announces on Tuesday, July 12. 
Palo is set to join RuPaul's Drag Race Season 4 and All-Star 6 contender Jiggly Caliente, confirmed to be one of the show's panel of judges. Drag Race Philippines is a local franchise of RuPaul's Drag Race, a reality drag competition created by RuPaul in World of Wonder that first premiered in 2009. The Philippine edition will premiere on WoW Presents Plus on August 17.